Hey, mate. What do you mean? The lads thought you did. The boss invited me to follow him on today's great. Oh, really? Since when you're that important? Well, you forgot to tell your best pal here? Don't be jealous. I know you will earn your place next to the boss one day. And how did you earn such place? Oh, we met with this group of five space marines the other day. And how many humans did you kill? Oh, let me count. All six of them. Damn geek, you're a beast! Yes, and I took this from one of them as a trophy. It's this proper flash. Wait, 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 wait. Did you kill a school face? Oh, you know him. It was easy to be honest with you. You must tell me the story of how you killed them all right now. Okay, so we cornered them in this place where humans pray. Every orc who was trying to get in got their heads blown off by Bolter Daka. So I looked into the boss face and said, I'll handle this. I dug my face into purple paint and sneaked in. Found the guy and chopped his arms off with my chopper. And then I used his arms to beat the shit out of him. That alerted the rest though, and I had nowhere to hide. So, as they were rushing towards us, I saw something, something that was told me before waiting. Remember, Rugot, sometimes you just have to stop and use your head. So as soon as that human entered through that door, I grabbed him and I hug at him and then I tore him into a mash. Had to use him to stop some bullets from the next one. But then I threw my chopper across the room and sliced his head off. I kicked the head and hit another guy who fell from a balcony and died. Then a school fight was next. I took back my chopper and we fought. But he's no regular Hume. He put on a good fight. Until we both fell from the building. We were both recovering, but I was faster. So I lifted the entire church and beat him with it until I burned him. Then I took his stick as a present for the boss. But he told me, give it. It is yours now. A hill like you did all that? No way! Then how do you explain this, huh? Yeah! Who's the kid now? Borg, you okay? With the release of the new Black Templar models, I was really happy to see some old school characters making a comeback. Some of the models were amazing, like Helbrecht himself. I look at that model and think to myself, Damn, that model is perfect. I wouldn't tweak anything. It is exactly what I was hoping for. But there was one model I wasn't satisfied with. Well, maybe two of them. I mean, don't get me wrong. They are both amazing sculpts, but they both have this generic pose that looks like, look at the stick I found, that GW likes to stamp on everything they make. I mean, it can work once or twice, but having two miniatures in the same army with the exact same pose 
that triggers my OCD. I'm sorry. One must change. Well, I fucked up again because I ended changing both. You will find both painted up at some point in time through my social media channels. Usually my videos take around 20 to 30 hours between filming and editing. So that doesn't leave too much room for painting models. But if you want that to be changed, please let me know in the comments down below. I took Grimaldus as my summer project. I bought him out of an impulse and I wasn't planning anything yet. But then I remembered. I know I have this slanted base somewhere lost in this room. And an idea began to unfold. What if I spread his legs and twist his arm to make it look like he's about to beach lap someone? Like some hell rich last stand surrounded by orcs on the high ground. One of my favorite bits of that story was when his plasma pistol broke and he began swinging it like it was a mole. So that's when it clicked me. You know what it'd be so fucking cool? To have smoke coming out of the pistol muscle and coils to represent that. And then the journey began. First of all, I used a piece of wire to hold the green stuff in place I was about to add. Most important thing here is that you need the wire to be rigid, so the easiest choice is to go for the steel. But the one I usually use for armatures was too thick, around 1mm. So I found this tiny cloth pack that used something that looked half than that. After shaping the wire the way I wanted, I glued it to the gun with super glue. Whoa, 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 Not so fast. Did you remember to drill your barrels properly? My disappointment is immeasurable in my days ruined. Take your gun and use an exacto knife to mark where the holes will be before drilling it. This way, instead of ending with googly eyes, you will end with perfectly drilled holes. Fuck me, the wording of this script. Now getting back to Grimaldus, it is time to mix the green stuff. A 50-50 ratio will do. Be careful and don't mix too much. We will need less than half than what I'm mixing. There's a lot of waste when I sculpt. I might do a video on what you can exclude with your leftovers before they dry out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Shape it like a cord and wrap it around the wire. This way you will have roughly the same amount of green stuff in every direction. Wet your fingers or use your sebum to unstick it from your fingers. Then spread it until you can't see the wire underneath anymore. After that, remove all your fingerprints with your smoothing tool. Could it be a rubber brush or any round object? Up to you. Just make sure to dip it in water so the green stuff doesn't stick to it. Push the green stuff into the muscle with a pointy object. After that, it is time to create interesting curls and shapes all around the stem of the smoke. Push it this way and then on the opposite side. Then make that curve more dramatic. As you can see, I'm not dragging the tool around. Gently press it in short bursts. Once you have a shape you are satisfied with, I would advise you to let it dry for 8 hours so you can save your progress before moving on. Because I know how to defend myself, I'm going to continue anyways at my own risk. But even I can tell, I lost a little bit of detail in the process. The next step would be to shape balls out of green stuff and stick them to the end of the piece, as it would be the most natural outcome to expand that area. But make sure to dry the remnant water from the previous step or else you would not be able to stick anything to it. Once we have placed our blob, 
we are going to fix it properly. Spread the edges, but don't worry if it doesn't blend properly. Repeat the process with different sizes of balls until you are done filling it. But remember, it makes more sense for the smaller ones to be closer to the gun. You may be asking yourself why. Let's take a physics class. Here we have our source of heat and all of this is cold air. Because hot air always goes up, it will try to breach through the cold air and because any fluid always tries to follow the easiest path, all the hot air will try to come this way. Because that's where it will find the least resistance. Then our hot smoke will begin to get colder and because of that it will refrain new hot air from coming up, thus resulting in accumulation of gases at the top. Because we are not in a sealed container, pressure can go up, meaning it only can expand further. And if we add wind, the new hot air will push this cooled air to the side. But we can get variations based on switching winds, friction, or other unknown causes. And talking about lost causes? Consider supporting the channel via Patreon. It will make me less dependent on commissions for the content, and add more variety for the tutorials instead of having to work with Timmy and Jerry all the time. Also, it will give you access to the Discord server, where you can share your works, and I will give you feedback on how to improve them. In addition, you will be able to influence on what you wanna see next, or if you just want to give me a hand, it would help me out with materials and keep my wig collection growing. There are two ways of approaching the next step. In summary, we are going to blend the balls with the stem. The easiest method I would recommend for beginners would be to wait for the whole thing to dry out until tomorrow, and then add green stuff to blend the intersections. If you add more yellow to the mix, it would be easier to assimilate, but wait around 30 minutes after mixing, because that green stuff is going to be extra sticky. The other method comes at the expense of losing some detail, but it is really a time saver. Would you believe that the wall sculpt is only 20 minutes of raw footage? What you have to do in this case is take a soft and pointy rubber brush and go around blending the edges properly. We didn't do it before because a metal tool is too hard for this until we reach the latest stages of the curing process. It can leave undesired marks that would need to be fixed later. We've pretty much done with the first section of the smoke. It is time to bring those coils to life. And this is where it becomes a bit abstract and chaotic. In no way you would be able to have two identical pieces of the same. Your coils will never look the same as the ones shown in this video as we are humans instead of 3D printers. Since the heat has to irradiate from the coils, it makes sense for it to be shorter and thinner than our main smoke trail, as it will be a medium more difficult for the heat to travel. In that sense, we are going to start this section by digging our roots into the coils and pushing the green stuff inside of them, in order to build a smooth transition. Do the same thing on both sides. Make sure the green stuff does not fall out of the working area. Make it know its place. Grow the tip a bit and remember the diagram we saw before. A burnisher would be also an acceptable tool for this job. I kept trying to shape it like an S, and then it kinda felt that it needed to be split in two. 
Here you can see the splitting a little bit better. As you can see, I switch back to the pointy end of my tool, but a thick needle would be also a good tool for this. After that, I began to curl it into itself. First, using my metal tool to twist the beauty where I couldn't reach it. And then with my hands, so I could finish with a pointier tip. If you let it break, it's fine. But, because I did, I'm going to stick a small ball onto the tip. Little adjustments here and there, before we regain a bit of the original shape. Finally, it is time to let it rest until tomorrow, and hopefully, let gravity do the rest. Suffer not the unclean to live. Lead us from death to victory, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from faith to slaughter. Lead us to his strength and an eternity of war. Let his wrath fill our hearts. Death. They call him the hero of Hell's Reach, as if there was only one. Grimaldus, reclusiarch of the Black Templars, local chaplain, literally too angry to die. He's now ready to beat lap orcs into oblivion in Armageddon. This was a really fun summer project, and I really wanted to share my journey with you. I painted him up inside a literal cave while on vacation. But not for a single moment my spirit fainted, for the light of the Emperor gave me strength. And yes, that's a lamp I nailed it to the wall. Before you leave, I want to point something out. While editing this video, I've noticed that there are some bits that might feel a little bit contradictory. Like when I say, shape it like an S and then twist while pulling it. So your initial S is pretty much gone. The truth is, I will never know if that step was necessary to end with the shape I ended up with. My advice would be that never take things too literal when talking about green stuff. As I said before, it is impossible for you and I to end with the exact same shape. What I wanted is to show you the tips and tools at your disposal so you can improvise and most importantly react to what's happening if you're in front of you and make decisions accordingly. You might struggle with it at first, but the more you practice, the easier it will become. That's why I always say, don't stick only to the techniques you wanna learn, or else you will become stagnant. Learn about everything, and watch more sculpting videos, and most importantly, have fun practicing them. Until next time, I've been Obsessive Converter.